In this lesson, we're going to be talking about doing some payload based scanning with Unicorn Scan. Unicorn Scan is similar to Nmap in that it does port scanning. The difference with Unicorn Scan is that it actually uses payloads, so actual protocol interactions with the ports rather than simply just trying to do port connections. And this can be really helpful, particularly with UDP scans where a UDP scan isn't necessarily going to respond to you, whereas if you were to actually send the payload, then you would get the response from the server. And by payload, what I'm talking about is some sort of protocol interaction. So if you've got a UDP server that is listening and waiting for the command hello, then Unicorn Scan will actually send the hello rather than just seeing whether it gets a response. So you can see here UDP protocol specific payload based scanning and here's an example of a Unicorn Scan doing that UDP protocol specific scanning. Now it will also do TCP scanning. What it does with TCP scanning or what it does with scanning in general is it's kind of an asynchronous scanner where it will send out a lot of packets and then it will set up a separate thread or process that is going to listen to the results rather than having the same thread or process managing both. It actually breaks the tasks up for you. Let's take a look at the payloads here that we've got with Unicorn Scan. And you can see there's a lot of different payloads that are available here. Here's Isacamp, for example which is a protocol that's used with IPsec. And it does use port 500 with UDP. And if you were to just try to connect to an Isocamp port, you may not get anything back. So there are some other protocols that are available here. Here's Radius, for example. Now, the nice thing about this is this is just a text-based file where you can create your own protocols and your own payloads so that you can add to Unicorn Scan anytime that you want. This is SNMP v1 right here, just as an example. And it would actually send this payload to what looked like an SNMP server. So we'll take a look at actually just doing some TCP scanning with Unicorn Scan coming up. 